Hey what's going on guys, it's Tom here back today with another video and today I've got an awesome Black Ops 2 sniper class for you guys. This is by popular demand, you guys have been asking for this ever since I started this mini series. If you guys do enjoy the video make sure you leave a like guys, it really helps out my channel. You guys have been smashing the likes lately and they, as I said, really help out my channel. So let's get to this class and as you can see I've got the primary as the DSR-50. This is one of the better sniper rifles in the game. Got a little bit of gameplay in the background right here now, just showing you a little bit of sniper gameplay at the beginning then just some more Black Ops 2 gameplay. So as I said, got the DSR-50 as the primary. For the primary attachments, I've got the Ballistic CPU and the Extended Clip. Now the Ballistic CPU is an attachment that's exclusive to the sniper rifles and it's actually going to give you less sway. So this is going to help for sniper rifles immensely. So when you're aiming down sights, when you're not holding your breath, you know, the gun does sway a bit. Also, you know, by default, when you're actually not aiming down sights as well, there is going to be a little bit of sway, which means you're not going to be very accurate when firing from the hip. Obviously, you don't want to be, you know, firing from the hip too much with this gun, you know, unless you're going for those no scope trick shots, stuff like that. So the Ballistic CPU is going to decrease this weight and make you more accurate with the sniper rifle. Second one is the extended clip, you know, the second attachment. By default, it comes with a five round detachable box magazine. This is going to bump that up to around 10, which just means you're going to be able to go longer without reloading, which I always like on the sniper rifles. Secondary, I actually chose a secondary in this class on many of my classes. I'm not going to be going for a secondary purely because I think you can spend that point more wisely in somewhere else. But with the sniper rifle, you're very, very vulnerable up close. So I actually use the Cat 40. It's going to have a really quick switch time. There's also going to be a perk that's going to help you switch to this quicker. But yeah, the Cap 40 is actually a fully automatic gun. It's not as good as the G18 was in, say, Modern Warfare 2. Probably similar to the G18 in Modern Warfare 3, actually, now that I think about it. So the Cap 40 is going to be a good secondary that you can use to actually finish off people. Say you just get a hit marker and don't kill them. Not going to be running with any attachments on the secondary because I think these points are better spent elsewhere. Now onto the perks in slot 1, I've got nothing, don't think there's anything there that's really essential to the sniper rifle. In tier 2 though, I think there's two crucial perks, first one is fast hands, as I said earlier this is going to allow you to switch between weapons quickly and also recover from stuff like knife lunges and that's really going to help you out when using the sniper rifle. Also toughness, and I've said about toughness before, it's a really really great perk and especially when you're using those high damage weapons, you know the sniper rifle, there's going to be a difference of one bullet whether you actually kill someone or not. So if you're actually using toughness, if you get hit first you might actually still keep on target and actually kill the enemy. Now finally in tier 3 I actually went for tack mask, purely because you know if you're a kind of tactical sniper you're probably going to be you know holding down some choke points, something like that, and it may actually be predictable as to where you are. Enemies are are probably going to try and stun you stuff like that chuck them shock charges so this is actually going to make you pretty much immune to some of those tactical grenades so that's it for the perks now the lethal what would a sniper class be without the combat axe there's going to be people going for cross map combat axes the data game comes out and statistically it's not the strongest in the category but you know it's always good fun now finally for the tactical grenade using the shock charge these are really great they can be used kind of similar to a stun grenade but also kind of be used as a kind of claymore that can shock people as well I'm going to talk about that in a little bit more detail in a future video now finally for the score streaks you know personally i'm not a great sniper won't be going for some ultra high kill streak just went for the uav the hunter killer and the line and strike UAV is pretty standard for me, Hunter Killer, it's okay, it actually takes out enemy air support as well which makes it quite good. Finally the Lightning Strike is a great kill streak. it genuinely is a Lightning Strike. It's very similar to the Mortar Team in Black Ops but as soon as you actually say where you want them bombs to be dropped, they're there straight away taking out enemies as soon as possible. So anyway guys, that's it for the Sniper Class, hope you guys enjoyed this. You guys have been asking me for this so I thought I'd give you guys exactly what you wanted. If you've got any more classes you want to see before the game comes out, let me know in the comments below. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like, as I said earlier, really helps my channel. Also, if you're not yet subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button up above. Check out a couple of my previous videos, got those on screen right now. And I'll catch you guys with another video very soon. Objective parameters obtained. Well done.